All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Bug Snacks, which is a game that I initially thought was dumb, and I still think is dumb, but dumb in the best possible way. It's one of those trailers that I think was announced at E3 this year as kind of like a weird surprise, and like whoever was in charge of their social social media game and like promo trailer just absolutely nailed it, and so I never, I still did not see the trailer for it, but everybody was talking about it for a very long time. It was very strange. I hadn't seen a whole lot of buzz around a game since, uh, game like this since No Man's Sky, but it was like, it was positive. It was like, everybody knew it was going to be kind of, kind of junky, but in like the best way, as opposed to like, thinking it's going to be the second coming of Peter Molyneux. And I don't know. It, I would love to see somebody do a breakdown of it. I know it's kind of inconsequential, but just the the zeitgeist effect of this game was weird. Well, that didn't work out. Base to jump. Can I get lantern? No. There we go. Dim arms. I am a floofy man. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm legit spooked. Hello? Wait, <laughs> is that a giant moth pizza? Uh-oh. Well, now we're a dead Muppet. Are we rolling? <clears throat> Greetings, I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures, and she's a real charmer. Eggabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snacktooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. There's one now! I got it! I got it! Ugh. Ouch! Uh, good effort, Bilbo. As for you. I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work. The Shadow of Grumfoot, The Secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truths. And also like me, if you truly recognize your talent, you are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Bug Snacks. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic. Remember that whole mess with Grumplantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. 
Why don't you believe in bug snacks? Because I've got a working brain. What's wrong with Snack Tooth, Snack Tooth Island? Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. What do you know about Lisbert? She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. Well, I'm going. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Present day. Head trauma. Do you not notice me like half dead? Uh, uh, oh, it's Philbo. Wait, ma oh. Lisbert? Is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. <laughs> uh, who are you? What? Oh, it's, it's me, Philbo. What happened? I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and oh, I couldn't catch any bug snacks. I swear. Where's Lisbert? What? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Moving on. Wait, you're not Lisbert. Oh, Grump. It doesn't matter who you are. Please get me something to eat. Sure thing. Hooray! Ow. Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? Find out which one it is for me. <laughs> Okay, F to open the snack scope. What? Oh. Very simple snack. Watch his walking pattern. It's a strap area. Scan. Oh, scan the strappy. Oh, oh, good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, if you aren't me anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. Okay. Don't have it equipped. Snack trap. Its tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. All right. Let's hide behind this rock. Oh, nice. I'll pick it up before it escapes. I. What? Oh, yes. I'm saved. What? What happened to your arm? Oh, this? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks? I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. <laughs> what? Green Lullaby. Latches onto snacks and traps it with its unsettlingly long tongue. Okay. Well. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one. Burrows into the soil when scared. See if this works. It's a really sloopy carrot thing. There we go. Rudel. There we go. Don't think I'm going to be able to get anything more than this. 
Yeah, I was really hoping I could get the trap to swing around and catch him as it went by. Garden Groove. Garden Grove, sorry. But I can't go there. I need three more. Now. We've got the floaty dude. Catches onto snacks and traps it with its unsettlingly long tongue. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Okay. And he just kind of flies off for a bit. Well, do we have anything else around here? A bush that smaller bug snacks can hide in. Larger bug snacks will bounce off and scare out whatever's inside. Okay. There we go. So this is the entire point of this game. Just that we're we're supposed to uh, catch like a bunch of these things. All right, let's see what horrors we do to this dude. Awesome. I I disagree. Get me three more of those. I I I thought I could hack it on my own, but I guess I'm just not good at anything. Okay. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do? I forget to actually switch my, my stream title over. Eh, that's good enough. Okay. Well, we've got a secret water cave here, so this might have something. These statues must be hundreds of years old. I... Okay. Well... I guess there's more to explore around this immediate area. Is that anything fancy? No. We got a hidey bush. Okay, so we get another Stravi. Now, there was the flying dude, but it looks like he's just pieced out of the immediate area. And this looks... That looks like something I can break at a later date. But not right now. Okay, well, that should be enough. Okay, uh, let's see. Feed. Strabby. You are a lifesaver, buddy. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um... Sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Lizbert Megafig asked me to join her. Oh, you got the film! I helped Lizbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist! I knew it was stupid to ask. Lizbert said you'd be coming. Hm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> well... How do you not immediately destroy your strawberry feet? Does that not, like, hurt? I'm honestly concerned about this. Hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but... Lisbert might not be there. Where's Lisbert? I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? Well, let's go, then. Right. Through here. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hey, Wimbus. How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. 
Don't you want to come with? No. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbeth around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Ah! Whoa! Darn Bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This Bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my saw slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the Bunger over yonder. <laughs> okay. I... Okay. Okay, there we go. Took care of the bunker. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. I put... Well, more ketchup growing on this plant. I... Being vegetarian in this universe must be really confusing. Like, exceedingly so. I'm gonna load up on ketchup for a bit. Apparently it grows, like, hella fast. But I'm gonna catch this guy. Apparently not. Okay, well... I don't actually know how much more ketchup I'm really gonna need to grab, so let's just... Let's just not. I... This game is a fever dream. What was I doing again? Check and see if Philbo's alright. I'm not good at medical stuff myself. You alright, Philbo? Don't go to sleep, you're probably concussed. Uh, uh, don't you worry, I'm a... I'm a little sore, but, uh, I'll be A-OK. -okay. I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Okay, first and foremost, let's actually scan these things. Tackles anything covered in ketchup. Pretty sure can't get that. Shishka bug. Once this pest hides, it won't come out of hiding until it's forced out. I want to dip my friders in it. We haven't found a frider yet. Ancient murals drawn with simple pigments. These murals depict the defeat of a giant bug snack by cave dwelling grumpuses. Do that. I see. There we go. Okay, so the shishka bug. Huh. Didn't. It didn't come out of that. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, got the shishka bug. That's not a frider, though. Shishka bug. I, like I said, this game is a weird fever dream. I, 
Yeah, I'm getting some heavy fighting food on vibes here. Oh. Climbs on onto high walls out of reach. Will come down if it smells some ketchup. There it goes. What a weird product. Are we got any other Friders? No. Let's see if that gets the other Burgle. We need that. We need to lure him in closer. There he goes. She's back. Well, butts. Okay. Uh. Well, that's inconvenient. It makes sense. I guess what I could do is put it over here. Because, yeah, the thing is, all I have to do is catch it on the other side. Alright, there we go. Do I need to catch all these? No. But am I going to do it anyway? Yes. I... What the hell am I doing? I'm starving. That's what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to play so much of this right now because I'm absolutely famished. I haven't eaten in a fair while. And yeah, seeing all these, uh... Actually kind of... Well, I'm not going to say they're delicious looking. Why does that keep mm. happening? Tastier than I thought. Now, I want to eat those darn shishk bugs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. Shishka what is even going to happen to him? Right. Okay. <laughs> Ah, that's good eating. All right, last bit of business. Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. Okay. Shiskaba! Okay, so how do I... Tackles anything covered in ketchup. Wait, hold up. I need another bunger. Okay, that's how you get a bunger. You got a bunger into a bunger. Problem solved. And what happens when they eat too many bug snacks? Do they just turn into one? I it could be. I apparently you are what you eat is like very literal in this universe. Justice is served. That's dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. <sighs> you hold on, I got this. There we go. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch up. Oh. Hey. Hey there. Um. I'm like, Bethica? oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. 
Ouch. Is that because you wrote that in yourself? It also says you're a terrible leader. I... you... Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! <gasps> O-M-G. You're that journalist. <gasps> I haven't seen a new face in, like, forever. I'm Bethica Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. Can I help you? I love your snack scope. You and me are toads twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. My journal fell off a cliff. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. Fire learning. Sweet. What? That's my diary, you squeeb. Take the paws off of that. <laughs> Looks like she's playing solitaire by herself and has chalk. I like the fact that they even redid the, uh... She loves hot dogs, apparently. They redid the, uh, the king so it has a different face on it. I love it. Way journal. to play fetch. Okay, now open it up. Tab to open up the journal. This is your Bugopedia. You can scroll through all the bug snacks you've scanned with your snack scope. You can also check on their likes, dislikes, and hints on how to catch them. Now check out all the other pages to see what they're about. This is your clues page. It's where you keep all of your progress on finding Lisbert. You can also select the clues to get a closer look at them. This is your Grumpopedia. It's like a Bugopedia, but for Grumpuses. This blank space will fill up with your notes once you get uh, get to know each grump Grumpus better. This is your quest list. You can get in-depth info on all your ongoing quests. You can also pin a quest to keep it visible while you're walking around. This is your snack pack. It's where you keep the bug snacks you've caught. Looks like it gets bigger. This is your map of Snack Tooth. It's a map. This is your list of tools. Just a way to keep track of all of your snack catching gear. Alright, that's everything. This journal will be helpful. See? Everything you scan with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Or Philbo. Oh, this game makes me so hungry. Luckily, I get pizza, but I'm so hungry. I think I'll have to play this immediately after I eat. Elsewise, I'm going to just be miserable whenever well, I play it. Here we are. That's kind of pleasant. It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh. It's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. Still want to explain to me about your weird limb problems? Do we fix them? Do we chop them off? You save him, saving him for later? I have concerns. I. We should probably turn off those overlay things, but oh well. I'm sorry. I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Why don't, why don't I need... Uh, why don't I interview you? Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um... <laughs> ask away, I guess. Who are you? I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a... Deputy Mayor? I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but... I like to help out. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything and here I am. 
Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Any info on Lisbert? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. So that's how you became mayor? I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. What happened to Snacksburg? One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. Why didn't it last? There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. I couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. I think we're done. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody will listen to me, but, but you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, nobody hates you yet. You can yet. catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. Where should I start? You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. Okay. You got several quests active. You can check your quests in the journal and pin the one you want to have appear in the corner. All right, let's go back for Befica. Just get her out of the way immediately. Instead of learn... Oh, hey, it's my airship. Well, that's convenient that it just kind of landed right here, of all places. Yeah, is this populated? It's populated with all of the bug snacks that I've specifically caught. That's fun. Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks got to sleep too. Okay, so scan six types of bug snacks in Garden Grove. Okay. So it's morning. What is that? Candy patch, pile of sugar and sticks is evidence of a bug snack. Bug snack seems to appear during the day, but not when it's raining. That's well, kind of fun. I On one hand, on one hand, this is kind of... Can I collect these? No. This is super neat. I almost wish it wasn't as doofy, because I'd love to play a, like, a more proper monster collection game with these mechanics, because I think that'd actually be really cool. White Strabby. Exactly like Strabby in every way, other than its pale color. Weenie worm. Lazy little worm. Only motivated by ketchup. Okay. Well. Let's just... Grab the weenie worm. There we go. I'm just going to grab all of them. Man, I haven't had a hot dog in ages. I've... I'm not, a, not exactly going to say that I've gone... Oh. This is not the right spot. This is... Uh, so this takes us back to Flavor Falls. Yeah. 
So it actually is entirely based on, on who we've caught so far. I like that. White Rudel. Seldom seen in the same place as regular Rudels. Veggie Bits. Sandipede. Wait, what? Separate bug snacks that work together. I'm just gonna kind of catch... We might catch and release a number of these. Just... To get them all into the list. Let's see. Pile of veggie chunks is evidence of a bug snack. Seems to appear during the day. You know what this reminds me of? This is like Pokemon Snap. Ranch dressing. More than one type of sauce. Wait, is that a bug snack? No way. Yes? Okay, we also have ranch dressing. Uh, let's go back to Garden Grove real quick and... Replace something. Wonder, do you grill? No, not really. I don't really like char on the outside of my things. I'm much more of a, um... A frying pan kind of guy. But I, I haven't had a, uh... I haven't had a hot dog in months. Because I, I've... Due to the, uh... Is that rock up there shifting? I gotta go take a peek. Um, I've gotten light vegetarian ever since the pandemic just because it's easier to keep uh, vegetables. Buried bug snacks. Been planted in the ground like crops. Huh. Pinkle. Let's go, let's go feed What's-Her-Face a bunch and see what she likes. So that was like a weird pret pretzel bug? Okay. Oh. Sweetie Fly zips around fast enough to evade traps, but eventually sits down to rest. Okay, well, while we're here... Oh yeah, twisty snack bug. Oh yeah. How much can I feed Befica? What is your upper limit? At what point do you turn into a monster? I've scanned all the grove snacks. OMG, you really got them all! I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Befica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. Well, too late. Already fed it to her. Okay, I'll have to figure out how to catch that thing later. It seemed to freak out at the sight of my trap. Yeah, it's absolutely the hot dog. I just... Hopefully, there's another one. Unfortunately, I think I caught the only one. So let's go back to... Let's go back here. And see if we can get it to spawn again. But yeah, honestly, this reminds me of Pokemon Snap. But deeper. And much more like, uh, kind of, uh, what I say, sandboxy? It definitely has a lot more going on for it. Compared to, uh, compared to Pokemon Snap. Well, kind of. I mean, Pokemon Snap was an N64 game, so I can't really judge it that hard. 
There we go. I'm looking forward to the new Pokemon Snap, but I get the feeling it's probably going to just be more of the same. Yeah, I might have to go back to town to repopulate. Yeah, possibly. No, that didn't work. Okay, what else do we have around here? Because we might have another hot dog rolling around. No, it doesn't look like it. But yeah, I love the idea of, you know, figuring out what they're weak to. What motivates them. What, you know, they want to eat. Uh, scanning them, finding details, and exploring this world. It's a little weird. Peace out. It's a little weird. But at the same time, like, this is actually a really promising idea that I've never really seen done before, and I want to oh, see wow. more of it. How'd the ship get here? Oh, there's a balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded. But I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. That's mine, actually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Yeah, Until next out. time. Okay. I guess let's go back and see if the hot dog has respawned, because I'd like to finish that quest for Bafika if I can. Maybe. Uh, but either way, I'd love to see more monster collection games go in this kind of general sense. Uh, the only other game I could say that fits this general mood would be like... Like, honestly, Slime Rancher, kind of. Now it's not back yet, so we might have to wait on this one. However, we know there's a critter that lands here. Eh, you know what? I think we get a net launcher later. So let's let's skip that. Let's just go back to town. I'll come back and do Befika's quest at a later date. Yeah, it might be something that only only spawns at night. Uh, let's see here. No, it doesn't seem to say anything about time of day. Or we still got a couple more. Oh, cool! So scan six out of nine, captured five out of nine. So you can see all of the different areas and what they have. That's nice. The Slime Rancher was amazing. Slime Rancher was a really chill game. I wish it went deeper with the slime breeding and, like, exploration a little bit. But for what it was, I thought it was neat. And so this game kind of fits the same general feel. Uh, that said, it is making me starve, which is actually getting really uncomfortable. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to go uh, fix that up. I'm going to wander around a little bit just to take a look. It's a lovely little area, except for this tent. This tent looks like ass. Hopefully the tent disappears after a certain point, because it looks bad. I, I think it will disappear as, as the hey. town gets repopulated. Okay. One way or another, I think this is kind of a good stopping point. At least for now, I'm just going to wander around a smidge. Uh, let's see. What was I going to say? I don't know. It's out now on PS5. It's actually a PS5 Next PS Plus launch again. title. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. Journalism is a useful skill. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, Actually, my yes. experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. No, seriously, who are you? Somebody who asks questions rather than answering them. Silence yourself and listen! You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> this is the snacktivator. Feed me strabby. Poke Snacktivator in foot. Foot turns into Strabby. Understand? 
unbelievable. Very good. I will allow you to field test the Snacktivator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further. This is concerning. We just come back later and they've just chewed off the strawberry parts of their leg. All right. Well, anyway, like I was saying, uh, it's out on the Epic Game Store now, as well as the PS5. Uh, it's like a PS Plus launch title. Uh, so if you actually pick up the PS5, is it PS5 only that's getting it as a launch title? I don't know. Uh, but I think that's a really good way of just getting this out there. It's an absolutely delightful little game. Like, this is the kind of thing that, honestly, if I had a kid, I'd probably stick, sit them in front of and just be like, go have fun. I, I, oh, Space Station Silicon Valley. Completely different style of game. Very similar vibe. And I played that game endlessly when I was a kid. Never beat it until I was an adult, but uh, I, I could see myself... You know, child me getting just as obsessed about this as that game. It's also just kind of lovely. Apparently it was made by the Octodad devs, which like... Yeah, that tracks. This this seems very on par for them. Okay. So that's the other guy I'm supposed to go talk to. We can do that later, but I need to go get me some food. Okay. PS, PS5, PS Plus free only. That makes sense. I know it's on the, I know it's on the uh on the PS4 but I think you have to might have to pick it up. Uh well, buy it, I guess. No, no, it's fine. Anyway, uh it's 25 bucks normally. Whoa. There was a thing there. Well, spooked the heck out of it. I will I'll bother with this later. Uh but it's 12, 25 bucks normally and it's down by X amount for launch week. I'm sure you guys get get the gist. Hey, this is already recharged. I like it when that happens. I'm just gonna load up on ammo. All right, well, I guess with this, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you wanna see more, let me know. Because I'd like to, I'm very busy, but I'd like to. Uh, so I'll try and fit in at least a little bit more. And if you do feel like picking this game up on the Epic Game Store, uh, you can use my creator tag, which is just Wanderbot, to do so. I'm gonna take a, it's a, uh, oh, what is it? Weeble. Follows things that it likes and nudges them with its spoon. I'm just gonna wait here for it. But obviously, no obligation on that. Alright. And I guess with this... Bam! Got it! You're mine, Queeble. Oh, it's the Kiwi with the spoon face. That's horrifying, honestly. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, if people want to see more of this, maybe I'll start tomorrow's stream off with it. I think I'm going to cancel Brawl Ops so I can have some chance to actually play these. Just got to figure out exactly when I want to do it, because if my PS5 doesn't show up, then I'm going to have to wait. Because I do not want anybody to, uh, snag that off my doorstep, because that would be painful. But anyway, for now at least, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.